today in this video we will see what to do if you get iMessage waiting activation error while trying to use iMessage in your iPhone sometimes iMessage may take up to 24 hours to get activated so wait until 24 hours and still after 24 hours if you are not able to use the iMessage then let us see some of the ways by which we can try to fix this issue the first thing is to make sure that you have a strong internet connection in your iPhone if you are using Wi-Fi then you can switch to cellular data and check if you can activate iMessage now the next thing what you can do is you have to check if the date and time is set correctly in your iPhone or not also check if the zone is correct or not for that one we will go to settings here general we will go to date and time and we will make sure that the time zone is set correctly and the time is set correctly in your iPhone the other thing what we will do is we will scroll the screen from the top to open the notification center and then we will toggle the airphone mode on and off toggle it and just check if you can activate iMessage in your iPhone also other thing to make sure is if you are using a prepaid sim card then you should have balance in your sim card so that you can receive a message for iMessage activation sometimes some carrier might charge you for the SMS in order to get the message for notifying you that iMessage has been activated in your iPhone so make sure that if you are using a prepaid sim card there should be balance in the sim card also the other thing what we will do is we will reset the network settings we will go ahead and open settings here we will go to general we will go to reset and then we will select reset network settings and I need to enter the passcode for my mobile and all of the settings related to mobile cellular everything will be reset and then you can check once again if you can connect to the iMessage or not if none of this fixes this issue then what we will do next is we'll go ahead and open settings here we will go to itunes and app store we'll tap on the apple id and then we will sign out of the apple id also we will go back and we will go to messages here we will go to send and receive we will tap on this apple id we will sign out after you have done this one then what we will do is we will restart our iphone since i have an iphone x so if i have to restart my iphone i have to press this side button and the volume up button at the same time And once I get this screen I will slide this power to the right in order to switch off the iPhone and after waiting for a few seconds I will again restart my iPhone so once you have restarted the iPhone what you can do is you can again go to the settings we will go to messages again and then we will enable this iMessage option after that you can check if iMessage feature will be activated in your iPhone or not again go to send and receive and select use apple id for iMessage and then select sign in after you wait for a few seconds you can see that you have used your apple id for sending and receiving the iMessage now hopefully this should fix this issue if none of this fixes this issue then the last option for you is to contact your carrier settings and check if you can use the iMessage feature or not sometimes the carrier might not be allowing you to use the iMessage feature thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free